This is a long loading screen. Ain't kidding. This thing is long. Oh wait, hold on a minute. What's this? I'm gonna explain to you why this is. Now, first of all, if you want to get into the game and it has crashed like this, the majority of the time it's because the graphics settings are just way too high. So the first thing you need to do is crank the settings all the way down. All the way, start from ground one, and then build it up from there. So let's do that. And when I mean low settings, I mean low settings. Yay! Yay, we are currently achieving FPS of 39. And you can actually look at that by pressing F1 on your keyboard. Go to console system and actually typing FPS, and that will give you your FPS, frames per second. I don't actually think this is the lowest that you can go with your settings. You can go, oh, nudity. Ugh, can't be looking at that. I can't actually see which thing I'm clicking on because my icon is in the way. There we go. So we've got a graphical details. Turn everything down, everything down, everything down. This will be a wonderful moment if we untick those. That will get rid of those. Performance, yep, turn that off. Boom, 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 boom. Right. That is the bare minimum. And oh, that is a nice foot. This is the lowest it will go, and the textures look quite literally lovely. Oh. But we are getting a smooth frame rate. Now here's the upshot. This is what the game looks like to me right now. Quality. If I take what I can see now and expand it to full screen. Oh, dem frames, man. Oh, so F1, FPS. We are achieving an FPS of eight. Just eight. That is all. I'm actually just going to do one thing quick. I'm going to minimize this because, oh my god, I can't take it. Ah, oh, there we go. Yes. Smooth frames. Catch the rock. Catch me! Oh, oh. Oh, it even left a hole. That's impressive. Right, so F1. So now we've reached the pinnacle of what the video is about. This is the reason why if you have loaded Rust and it has either crashed or you're just not getting any FPS regardless of the settings that you put into it, it's because under F1 system information, the GPU in this instance is not even the graphics card. It's the integrated GPU within the CPU. So there is the answer. In order to amend this, we need to exit the game first of all, and I'm going to show you what you need to do. Now in this video, we're going to be talking predominantly about NVIDIA GPU specifically. Not sure if this really applies to the AMD market, I don't know what their Catalyst Driver software is like nowadays. Haven't touched it, but in this instance, we're actually just going to go straight with NVIDIA and leave it at that. So, right click anywhere on the screen, NVIDIA control panel, boom. Bearing in mind, this will be useful for you content creators out there. If you change this one setting, it will crash your Premiere Elements software and most likely your photo um, shop as well. So, here is a workaround. The first thing you need to do when you go into your NVIDIA control panel manage 3d settings under global settings the preferred graphics processor as the high performance nvidia processor makes sense right absolutely that's the thing which we want to leverage once more for you content creators out there if you have something like adobe premiere elements then you will need to do this uh, which is actually i've already done anyway because for some reason it just doesn't like booting up with the nvidia gpu at the start, despite the fact it leverages CUDA cores in the rendering process. Weird stuff, don't know. But if it isn't already in your list, when you can then select the preferred graphics process that you want, in my case it would be integrated graphics, uh, you then have to press add, find the program that it is that you want to run, add it to the program list, and change the process that you want. This can be applied to anything. If you find that what a program which you used has suddenly stopped working, Try adding it to this list and changing from integrated graphics to high performance graphics depending on what the usage is. But now that that's done, we can now hop back into the game and you will be astonished with the results. Actually, it shouldn't be that astonishing because it, by this point it should be self-explanatory that rather than using the CPU to do render the game, we are now actually using the GPU. Woohoo! Presents for everyone. I feel so confident about this. We are going to go to screen resolution 1600 by 900 and put it on beautiful details let's go shall we and just to verify that i'm not cheating i am in fact doing this legit go to graphic settings oh there's a couple of things which have been turned off i'm actually going to turn them back on i know right you think of me as crazy uh, anti scropic filtering and put up to something like eight uh parallax mapping one drawing distance i reckon about a thousand would be fine uh shader level once probably about 300 i reckon 
Uh, water quality. I like water. I'm going to go with good quality on that one. Uh, max shadow lights. Don't know what that does. They ain't going to bother. Uh, no cascading lights. Let's go to performance. We want the jibs to be not many. I don't go with jibs that often. Put virtual texturing on. This will help for some reason. If it doesn't, don't worry, turn it off. But for some reason, I've heard reports that virtual texturing helps some people, but also degrades other people's performance. Uh, particle quality and all that other stuff, I'm just going to straight up. So, actually, particle quality, I could put down to some of that 50. Ain't too worried about that. So, let's play the game. Ah, oh, good God, we're awake. We're in, and we are achieving some pretty good frames. Obviously, everything looks much better, and this is at the full resolution as opposed to the minimal, uh, minimized one. We are playing at 1600 by 900. Ugh, that came out weird. 1600 by 900. Uh, lovely bit of detailing there. The shadows are weird, but I know how to fix that. You just have to up the shader, if I remember rightly. Graphics quality. Yep, yeah, so if I whack that up to five, there we are. We now have lovely shadows. And actually, with that increased graphical fidelity, if I go to F1 now and type in FPS, we are still achieving 34 frames per second. I usually type tried to take a hit on the graphical quality. Now, although I said I like the water quality, I'm going to dumb it down in this instance and just go simple. And turn that down. Parallax mapping, that's fine. And hey, what are we achieving now? 44 frames per second. Booyah! I class that as a win, and to verify that this is the same system, it is Helios PC, uh, Windows 7. It's not Windows 7, it's actually Windows 10, but get it right! God damn it. Intel i7, 4710HQ, whatever, this laptop. Uh, and an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 860M. That's what it should have said at the beginning, but it didn't. So we've had to manually tell it to use the GPU. So there we are, guys. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please like the video. If not, then... Uh, oh, catch the rock. Oh, I didn't catch it. If you like it, then please like it. If you dislike it, then dislike it. But leave a comment down below and let me know if you would like to see some more Rust gameplay. Because I am uh, very much enjoying this game now that I can actually play it. Please subscribe so you keep in touch with all of this madness, but also join me on my Discord group where you can chat to me live in person. But also follow me on Twitter so you get all damn updates. Thank you very much again for watching, guys. And uh, come on, come on, you can do it. And I will see you in the next video. It's all for now. Bye. Wow, I could hear that really well from where I am.